All right, hello students. It is Ms. Dial again, your friendly Parkway North High librarian. And Mr. Cray, your not so friendly English teacher. <laughs> All right, so today what we're gonna do is just simply show you how to get to the SIRS database from our library webpage. Um, you can see the URL up here at the top, but really the easiest way to get there is just to Google Parkway North High Library, and it should be the first hit in your Google results. When you're on our page, if you just mouse over on the left to databases and articles, you can just go to databases A to Z because you know the name of the database. It's called SIRS, and it's just going to be alphabetical down the page. Zoom. And there it is. So SIRS, I don't even know what it stands for, but <laughs> what it, it means. Even, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> doesn't it matter. Really doesn't. Uh, it just, just know that you're going to find newspaper and magazine articles when you are in SIRS. Yeah. I mean, this is, it's just so easy. I mean, even a freshman could do it. There you go. So if you know your topic, you can scroll down and look for it. But this is another great place to find a topic if you have absolutely no idea what you want to do research on. Mm -hmm. And some of you will you'll probably want to go straight to that search bar at the top, which I just never found the results there to be as helpful as just scrolling down this list and using the list really to help you pick out your topic. Because you might even see a topic you're not sure you're interested in, but trust me, a lot of them are good. And you probably want to use this list rather than trying to search. All right, so maybe we could see music lyrics. What do you oh. think, Mr. Crayer? Does that sound exciting? Yeah, sure. Uh, not to me, but maybe someone will care. <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything in this list you care about? Minimum Mr. wage Kerr? I care about you do? as a student. Sure, okay. I would care about minimum wage. All right, let's look at that one. Got to pay the bills. That's true. Stop leeching off my parents. <laughs> Okay, so one thing we love about SIRS is this middle section right here because mm -hmm. this is like the super easy way to find articles that are pro and con on your topic. Now one thing I have noticed about SIRS, even if it says that it is under the pro category, they usually do a pretty good job of giving you both sides of the topic. So usually you're going to find some pros and cons in all the articles, but they tend to lean toward one side or the other in mm -hmm. this chart here. So, should the minimum wage be raised? These people say, yes, it should. And these people say, no, it shouldn't. So, let's see. What should we look at here? Yeah, maybe just click the first one just let's to see, like, how does it look? This one is a newspaper article. It's from the Los Angeles Times. And look at that, June 30th, 2013. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but it's December now of the same year, so that's, that's yeah. pretty fresh. Yep, pretty current. And the title here, Minimum Wage Debate Reignites Age-Old Arguments. Mm -hmm. So that kind of tells me that maybe I'm going to be seeing kind of a balanced view because it's not, you know, using any biased language or anything like that, not too um, blatantly anyway. Yeah. So, Ms. Dow, let's say I wanted to use this article and I just don't know anything about MLA's citation. Is there some way a lazy freshman like me could just find an easier way than having to type it up? Why, yes, there is. Look here at the bottom. Oh my Prayer. goodness. Oh Here it my is. Goodness. Everything. The author, the title of the article, the title of the newspaper, the date, the page, and then the name of the database. You always cite the fact that you're on the web and you give today's date, which today's Friday the 13th. So there it is. Oh man, I didn't realize that. Yep. I just have to copy and paste that right into my Word document. Fantastic. I know. Kids uh, these days. Right. So, so easy. easy. So Let's you can see, even I'm email it. Look, you can email it to yourself. Oh my gosh! I know. Oh, this is you. so much easier. Back, back in my day, <laughs> with a card catalog system. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, so that's cool. So should we go back? Yeah, go to search results. I guess. So now we know in the middle there, there's some articles. Is there anything else? Yeah. Here so that's if you don't find anything there that you really mm. like, you can keep scrolling down because you can see over here there's actually 102 newspaper articles, 35 magazine articles. These viewpoint articles are going to be more like editorial pieces that probably will show more bias, so you may or may not want to look at those. Um, references are going to be pretty general, and then there's going to be images under your graphics and multimedia. So if you just are interested in newspaper articles, you could just click there and limit it just to those 102. And huh. you will have to scroll down again to see your list. And was there, a, there was like a little like map at the very top there it said something like interactive do you see that like right there oh is that is there always something in the interactive area or I don't know that there always is um, 
sort of just offers you some extra tools. Sometimes, like this is going out to an external website. This actually took you to the U.S. Department of Labor site. Oh, I got that bookmarked, yeah. So, so my guess is that if there's something relevant on the web, they might provide you um, something like that. So yeah, look mm -hmm. around on SIRS because there's a lot yeah. of other things there in addition to just the traditional articles. Cool. And you'll notice when you scroll down, like up here, they just list the titles of the articles. Mm -hmm. When you scroll down, they actually also give you an abstract, which is another word for that is a summary. Oh, that lets you kind of get an idea, you know, of what you're getting before you click into it. Wow. Um, Pretty cool. Yeah. And so at the very top there, I thought there was something like statistics button or like these research tools. What are, the, would we want to use those or? So what this is going to do is any, like any of the articles that have been tagged, something to do with statistics, you can see down here, uh -huh. it's got subject headings are kind of like tags that you might find on something. Um, it is basically just highlighting those articles that are tagged with that statistics tag there huh. in these subjects. And it's also looking at any graphics, any of the graphics from down here that have a statistics tag, they're gonna pull it up here to the top. Cool. So you'll be able to pull up quickly. Yeah, so again, it, you might just look around on SIRS, you're going to find all kinds of interesting information mm -hmm. that you hey, may look not at that. notice. Yeah. Missouri's is higher than the federal average. Awesome. Go Missouri. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Anything else we need to know? I think that looked pretty good. Yeah, I think we're good. All so, right, awesome. All right, guys, so we're going to give you a chance now to try this for yourself. Yep. Bye.